up, you guys? Thomas back with another LinkedIn video. Today we have a fragrance from Mason Alumbra, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me on a boat, on a plane, in a train, on an automobile. Hopefully, if you are in an automobile, you are off to the side like a safe driver would uh, be if they are watching videos and not driving. So if you are, kudos to you for thinking of safety first. But if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Because everyone loves a like. That's what we are all here for, to like this video, to like this review, to like making these reviews. That's what we are here for. Mason Alumbra. Again, pretty much Latafa's little sister, little brother, if you will. Okay, there's Latafa, the big tree. And here I have a couple of branches. And Mason Alumbra is one of them. So it is all part of the same tree. Now, if you look at the fragrances, especially the ones that say the, the Mason Alumbra, they'll all say latafaparfumes.com. Okay, if you want to go check out their website, latafa.com. But on the bottom, you can uh, see that they have some QR codes that you can scan so you can get right to that store pretty easily. But anyways, you guys are probably wondering, what fragrance is he talking about? Well, just wanted to kind of give you a little rundown on the Tafa itself. But if you guys must know, must insist, here it is. This is that fabulo intense. You guys already know what they are trying to knock here, and that is that effing fabulous from Tom Ford. You know what? They they are not holding back when they are trying to clone something, are they? They just go straight for the throat. And here's the thing, you guys. It, you know, the fragrances that they're cloning, especially the more expensive ones, okay, when you are out and about, there's not that many, like, so if you go to a wedding, okay, there's not that many people that are going to have Tom Ford fragrances on, okay? You might bump into maybe like one or two people that got that. The rest of them got the designers, the Sauvages, everything else, the Aqua de Joe. Not that many people will have a Tom Ford. And so when people do smell this, you can lie and just say it's Tom Ford. Then I can remember that smell when they go to the store the next day or two or week from now and go smell it. They're gonna be like, oh, this guy had this effing fabulous on. Can I get it? They're not gonna remember the smell, see? So they're not gonna be able to say, oh, that guy was lying. He was wearing the knockoff. No, they're not gonna remember that, okay? So here we go. Mason Alumbra. Again, they are holding nothing back when it comes to these clones as of late. Some of them, it's almost like they don't mind getting sued almost. They're just gonna take the name and run with it. But Fabulo. Intense sounds like some laundry detergent or some uh, fabric softener. Man, this would be awesome. This kind of scent for a fabric softener, but overall, the box feels nice, nice and kind of like plasticky. Uh, I don't think it's really cardboard, it's just a nice little bit of plastic. Nice feel on it. This nice little uh, kind of like it's like a kind of a weird feel, like almost like a basketball. So it feels like a basketball. So there we go. And on the back, we got that, and then again, there you go. See, Latafa.com, Latafa Perfumes. You can find them on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram, and all that. Now, I do recall smelling effing fabulous, and I do recall I liked it pretty much. It smelled classy. It kind of smelled powdery. It smelled sophisticated, in my opinion, uh, but that was a long time ago, so we'll see if this brings back any memories. See? See, like I said, I don't remember what it smells like now. See? Just goes to show you, we're going to forget. Take a look at this bottle. The bottle is very nice. This nice matte black finish. Not a shiny, glossy glass. So you won't get no fingerprints, no smudges on this. So that feels nice. The cap, um, probably not as heavy as the real deal. But it's got a nice little weight to it. So overall, not that bad. But there you go, Fabulo Intense right there with that Mason Alumbra buck in the front. Buck, buck, buck. Here we go. Nothing going on right there. Nothing. 
nice wide distribution very wide and that's definitely the smell that i recall from fabulous smells like smells clean and just powdery like just a fresh powder just i don't know stepping out of a powder room i know that's the different kind of powder but this just smells like a smells like a fresh baby's bottom which you know once you take care of the shit and you throw that on a baby bottom it actually smells kind of good but it's kind of got a little <coughs> it's strong you guys it is strong <clears throat> Especially when you take like a, a real deep uh, breath on this one. So here's the thing. Like when you smell it in the air, and that's where people probably do not like it. When they, some people say that they don't like effing fabulous because it smells too much like baby powder. Yes, it does in the air. That's what most people will probably get some kind of body powder. But when you get closer to it and actually inspect it, you still get that powder, you get like this almost like this spiciness, maybe some pepper in here, maybe some kind of pink pepper, maybe even white pepper, who knows, but it's almost like a light, slight citrus in here as well, I think. It's kind of like, man, it is, it's literally like fresh, clean, citrusy, again, powdery. This one just smells, this one just smells like sophisticated, smells classy, smells elegant. I mean, it. now when, now this one just says Fabulo Intense. Now Fabulo, that, that, that sounds like a wrestler too, like the wrestler jumping off the top ropes, Fabulo off the top ropes. But when you hear the word effing fabulous, like to me that doesn't, like, if this was the real deal, Tom Ford, okay? Effing fabulous shouldn't mean, like, something that is just an explosion. It just blows you away, okay? The fragrance should just blow you away. That's what effing fabulous should mean. Now, this one doesn't blow me away, per se, but it does smell really fabulous. But it's just not effing fabulous. It's not the one that's going to blow me away or blow me away. Who does that? Um, it's not going to do that. However, it does smell very good. It smells like I remember uh, Barberry Touch kind of has that powdery kind of peppery smell. It kind of reminds me of that, but without that spicy, that real nice spice that you get from that pepper and Barberry Touch, but that nice powderiness that you get. Might even be some fruit in here because it kind of has almost this... Maybe cherry or something like sweet. So again, in the air, yes, smells exactly what I remember effing fabulous smell like. Powdery, clean, fresh, just smells nice and sophisticated, nice and classy, gentleman-like. When you get closer, Still get that powderiness. You still get some other stuff, some citrus. It smells maybe a little woody, maybe some slight spice, but I actually prefer this fragrance more in the air. I kind of like that powdery smell, but when you get closer, it's kind of like, okay, it's it's okay. It kind of smells, it almost kind of smells like lost cherry and maybe, because again, it has like this sweet, almost fruitiness to it with that powderiness so again on the skin i'm not as big on this one as it is in the air if that makes sense okay now people around you that smell this they're probably gonna highly highly enjoy this you might not like it that much yourself so this might be one of those ones where you know there are some people out there that will get rid of fragrances because their significant other does not like it. This might be one of those that you keep that you don't re really like yourself, but the wife you actually might like. So, I mean, I can see if the wife he likes it, if she'll uh, come in here. I don't know what she's doing real quick, but uh, I'll scream her name. She'll come in here, hopefully. She'll let me know what she thinks. Wifey?
Are you available? She is. I hear the footsteps. Okay, I'm going to give you a fresh spray in the air because I want you to smell this in the air and then on me. I, so it definitely smells much different in the air than it does on the skin. It smells like kind of just a fresh powder. Right? Fresh baby powder kind of. smells like a baby. But then when you get closer, it smells much different, right? Well, it still has that like powdery. Still has that powderiness that I was talking about. But it is light. But it almost has like this, it almost has like a fruitiness to it as well. The fruity is kind of like, like sweet. back in the background, behind the powder and stuff like that. But I don't know, is this one that you would like if I worked? I mean, it would smell good. But it would make my nose run. Maybe. So, does it smell effing fabulous? Because that's what it's cloning. No, it doesn't. Does it smell effing good? Yes, I'll give it effing good. It smells effing good, but not effing fabulous. Fabulous means unisex? you. This is definitely unisex, especially with that powdery freshness that you get. This is like uh, but it's uh, and and again, when I say unisex this is for the mature unisex though so older men older women will like this i don't think a younger woman would like this it's just smells a little too powdery smells a little bit too mature if you will there's no playfulness about this this screams you're gonna come out and yell at the first guy that steps on your freshly cut grass that type so uh with that being said you know i'm not saying i'm disappointed i'm not disappointed I'm just not wowed, okay? This one doesn't wow me just yet. Maybe we'll let this sit around a little bit. Maybe we'll actually give it some wearing outdoors. We'll see how it is. Maybe the wind plays some kind of role with the smell, the breezes and stuff like that. Now, I remember yesterday I did a video too where I wasn't totally satisfied with the fragrance until I went outdoors, then got the breeze, and then the breeze just changed my whole mind about that fragrance. So maybe that will do the same with this one. But... So, so far, I'm just okay with this one. This is just a, but, but now again, if you do like this effing fabulous, you like that powdery, that fresh smell, um, and you don't have Tom Ford money, say so you got that little bit of little sample that they gave you for free at Nordstrom or, or Dillard's or wherever, you got just a little bit left and you just, uh, you just want to go grab it, but you just don't have $200, give this one a try, 50 bucks. There you go. Bigger bottle to you. 200 bucks is usually for the 1.7s. This is a 3.4, so you're already doubling it for uh, about a 75% less. So can't beat that. So there you go. That is that Fabulo Intense by Mason Alumbra. Again, weather situations, outdoor, kind of a breezy situation, cool situation, that powderiness. I don't know if that would work really good in high heat. It would actually be pretty good in the indoors at a school or at work. This would actually be good because it's not offensive. It just smells like a fresh baby bottle. So there you go. Fabulo Intense from Mason Alhambra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.